Dr. Jen here at Jennifer Armstrong, MD. Welcome to my practice. We're so excited to see you tonight at our virtual event. We're gonna be injecting some live patients and we can't wait to hear your questions. As you know, I'm natural, natural, natural. I never want anyone to look overdone or like they've done anything. Just refreshed and like they've slept and people can't really figure out why they look so good, but they look refreshed. So the RHA collection differs from all the other hyaluronic acid fillers on the market. It's a long chain, so it moves with your face. It gives you a dynamic movement instead of looking stiff. It also has a longevity, 15 months. I've seen it last up to two and a half years. And there hasn't really been a breakthrough in technology for fillers. This RHA, especially the Redensity, is definitely a breakthrough. It only is a 2% modification of your natural hyaluronic acid. So what does that mean? It's most, it's almost identical to your own hyaluronic acid that you make naturally. So, of course we're gonna use that for the best natural results. So, one of the great things about the RHA collection is that everybody's a candidate for it. But, unlike other fillers, in the older population with really thin skin, especially around the lip lines and underneath the eyes, the Redensity, which is only 2% modified from your natural hyaluronic acid, is so great because it doesn't, you can't see it through the skin, it doesn't look stiff, it's just totally natural looking. So especially the lines around the lips, these little tiny lines that we get as we get older in our 40s, and hard, the, the corners of your mouth start to turn down so we can just lift the corners of the mouth and smooth out the upper lip and chin area here and it just looks so natural. So it doesn't matter if you have thin skin or if you're older and you, you, you can see your vessels through your skin, this is the perfect filler for you. It's really a breakthrough technology that we can use on the older population. Hi, Bronwyn. It's good Hi. to see you again. I'm so happy to be here. I recognize this face. I've seen this face before, my friend. She's been keeping it beautiful for a very long time. <laughs> so, but it's been a couple of years. I haven't seen you for a couple of years. Tell me what's bugging you now. I mean, just with getting older, I'm in my mid forties. You know, I don't have the same fullness that I used to have. I am tired. It's starting to show. The little fine lines around my mouth are popping up a little faster than I want. I would love to get a little more of that volume here. That's you know gives you that rested, uplifted look. You want a little lift here? That would be amazing. Yeah. So let's look, let's zoom on in our face and we can see what we, we see what I see. So the first thing I see, you know, I'm obsessed with chins. So your chin is pulling up a little bit and it's getting a little pebbly. So I want to fill, I want to just smooth that out in the skin. So I would use an RHA Redensity there. And then you're right, these little lines around your lips. So you have beautiful lips. I wouldn't want to augment your lips, but just these little, these little lines around your lips. We want to get rid of that. And we want to lift up the, the corners of your mouth. So you don't look sad when you're not smiling. Um, another thing that I brought up a little earlier was the temple filler. You can see that the, there's a divot here from the forehead to the cheek here. And that once this is flush, it's just such a very soft, beautiful um, change. And it's, it's very subtle, but it's just very beautiful. And it will give you back that youthful look. I can't wait. Let's do it. So our RHA Redensity is my favorite fur around the lips. It's very soft. It fills in the lines without giving that overfilled monkey look, which we don't want. Um, so in these little lines here and, and around the corners of your mouth and the chin. I also use it for under the eyes, but you actually don't need it under the eyes. Um, I'm gonna use RHA3. So for our, the RHA collection, there's RHA Redensity 2, 3, 4, and it just gets like more, it's called a G prime, where it's just more, it, more um, dense as it gets a, to be a larger number. So I'm gonna use RHA3 in the temples and the thinnest one around the lips. So the RHA Redensity is the filler I like for around your lips because I don't want to make your lips bigger because we don't want to make them look fake, but they, they're perfect. They look lovely. But those little lines, you know, 
the people call it the smokers lines, even if we didn't smoke, and if we did, we're not saying we smoked. <laughs> <laughs> those little tiny lines around the mouth, we want to just fill those in to make it flush and beautiful without making it look big or overfilled, or that we don't want to make the upper lip look overfilled at all. We just want to bring it back up to flush so it looks like it did when it was when, like 10 years ago. We're going to start with your temple here. So it's a little, it's too curved. As we get older, we skeletonize here. So we want to make this flush from the forehead to the cheek. Then we just push it in for safety. I love this filler. Um, this is RHA three, all the RHAs because they're the least chemically modified of all the fillers on the market. So the redensity that we're going to be using around your mouth is only a 2% modification, where when you look at the other products, the Vicross technology is over double that. So just because I'm so natural, I want to use the most natural hyaluronic acid filler on the market. So it makes my job a lot easier. So the way that I like to do this, if you guys see these little, I bolus it, like you see that bolus, and then I push it in. So that's a really safe way and a beautiful way of doing the temple. Um, is a cannula, so it's less likely to hit a vessel, less bruising, and it's safer. Safer, softer, and um, less chance of bruising or black, like a black eye. So it's just soft and it's like so, it's subtle, but just like so pretty. So natural. So pretty, right? Beautiful. Ah, I love it. Beautiful. So now we're gonna move to the, the mat, we're gonna move to the mouth area. We've done the temples. Look how pretty you look, look at the temples. So it's subtle, beautiful. Um, soft. I love that it's really soft looking. But now we're going to do the little lines around your lips here and the corners of your mouth and the chin. We're not going to get rid of your dimple because she loves her dimple, but we are going to get rid of anything that looks pocky around the dimple. Now we're using the Redensity. So this is the newest filler by RHA. It's uh, indicated, if you press like this, it's indicated for lines around the mouth. Here we're just smoothing this out. These little lines we get as we're older. We call it the magic eraser. We just smooth them out. You see them going away. What do you think? I love it. I love how full the temples look. I love how it just gives me that sort of, you know. You see how subtle? It's like so subtle, but just like pretty. Yeah. It just makes me look refreshed. Yeah, it's exactly. What subtle but want. pretty. Even and it smooths out my skin so much. But it's not like, oh, look, I just got filler because no. then it would be done incorrectly. I love it. I love <laughs> it. My girlfriend still love it. <laughs> <laughs> Meet my wonderful patient, Brandon. Hey, Brandon, what's going on today? I Tell me know. what's bugging you. I, I don't really know what's bugging me. I know that we need to do something. Yeah. But I'm not sure what it is. And we've also done Jaws by Jen. Do you like it? I love it. I just feel like maybe I need some more. Okay, well, let's do a little, so you don't know what you want. You just no, feel like kind of unrested or something. Yeah. You look practically perfect, okay. but. Practically is not perfect. All right, we'll get rid of the practically and Wonderful. make it perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's see. So when I look at your face, you have a slight shadow. Let me get this pointer of mine. <clears throat> you do, we have done under eyes before. You have the slight shadow here. Now we want to keep, um, I know you get up early because you're a trainer, right? We want to keep this ligament right here. It's called the ligament of youth. So we don't want to knock that up. I see how it's just a little shadowy here and here. So let's get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. Correct. And then let's look at your jaw. So I think right here where we filled before Correct. looks really good. Now, bite down for me. So you see how that it kind of flares out a little bit. Mm -hmm. look, in the, look again and relax and bite down. Mm. See how it goes out like that? So if we put more filler like that, you're going to get a winged look. Mm. So we don't want that winged look. So it's like the Zac Efron wing look. So that. you have to always bite down and check your jaw muscle before you put more filler there. Great. But you could, we could even it out with a little bit right here. Let's do it. So we'll put a, a little bit here to stay with the angulation of your jaw. No wing. More jaw bite, yeah. Without wings. No wings. <laughs> <laughs> this is RHA2. Okay. And I like this the RHA collection because it's the least mod chemically modified of all the filler. Like it's that. a long hyaluronic acid and it doesn't clump or um, retain water like the other ones. So put your eyes up to the ceiling for me. Perfect. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Ouch. Shouldn't be an ouch. Tell me if it is. 
should just be a weird sound. It's painless as always. Oh, thank you. One, two, three. Ouch. And look at that. Look at the before and after. Look at the Huge. side. Look at the side. Yeah. Versus the other eye. So See, the shadow's gone. I love that. So if we look at this side of the this side oh, of the yeah. shot, you see how it's a little caved in here, but here it's all nice and Yeah, that's nice. Can you see that angle there? Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that for you. Thanks. <laughs> that's great. What do you think? It's wonderful. Right down? Mm -hmm. All it's all square. It's in line, right? So nothing flares out. We like that. Okay, guys, so all done here. And then you were practically perfect before, now you're perfect. So you see underneath the eye, so we still have that ligament of youth, but it's like nice and smooth underneath the eye. And then we did the jaw. So before we had done the angle of the jaw here, and then we just actually did the jaw line here to figure, to even it out a little bit. You guys, that was so fun. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I love all your questions. Trust me, all of them. And I'm so excited that one of you got to win. I'll see you guys soon. much for watching tonight um i'm so glad you guys could join us i already see some questions coming in now so should we start answering questions yeah okay or should we do a little first of all, i wanted to let you know that you're going to receive a text and it's going to say would you like us to contact you to make an appointment or if i don't get to your question we can contact you to answer your question later and we have so many people registered tonight so we might have to contact you so just push yes when you get that text you'll all be getting one and let's go to the first question. First one, what are the most popular areas that you treat with RHA? Well, I pretty much exclusively use RHA, <laughs> but I'll have to say the under eyes. Under eyes is a huge, a lot of our patients use under eye filler. And um, it's a very natural, because the skin is so thin underneath the eyes, it's really important what type of filler that you use because you don't want a, an older filler or something that's not RHA, that will draw in water and then puff up over time. So we've seen you know, people who have the, the, the puffy under eyes because it's retaining water. So one of the great things about the RHA too is typically what I use underneath the eye is it does not retain water or puff up over time. So I love that. Um, awesome. Okay, next question. How does RHA work under the eyes and where does it get injected? Out. And I know you. Hi, Evelyn. Uh, but so that's a great question. So the way that I inject is so when we, we're injecting underneath the eyes, we have to be careful not to go too superficial. So you sometimes maybe you've seen patients and it looks almost like they have worse dark under eye circles, almost like a green tint to it underneath their eyes. And that's called the Tyndall effect. And that's from people going too superficial or or the, the filler puffing up over time. So I do tiny little aliquots, it's like little drops, onto the bone, underneath the eye, and you can go all the way up um, on the side of the eye, because a lot of people have shelving here too. So by going all the way around, it makes it very smooth and natural looking. Also, I wanted to let everybody know that um, my staff was so kind to stay late. And so we're here right now for the next 30 minutes. If you wanna call and make an appointment, we have a November special which is buy two uh, RHA, get one free. And it's a limited space for that. So we're here now if you wanna call in and secure your spot for the November special, which is buy two, get one free. And the numbers, oh, and the number to call is 949-706-2887. 949-706-2887. So, oh, hold on. I just got my text that said, yes, please contact me. Um, and you have a free consultation, which if you book now, that's great. We only have, we have limited space for the buy two, get one free. And so I encourage you because we sell out really fast to call tonight and we're going to have a hard cutoff Friday at five for that special for November. 
All right, what's the next question? Why is RHA better than other fillers, especially for patients in their upper 40s? Well, 40 plus, well, I would say RHA is different than the other fillers because first of all, it's a long chain hyaluronic acid. So what is hyaluronic acid? It's actually a sugar that we make naturally. That's why kids have such plump, awesome skin. Um, as we get older, we make less of it and we make more of the enzyme that dissolves it. So we start to hollow out, hollow out under the eyes, hollow out the, the malar sulcus, our temples start to hollow, our chins, our jowls drop. We'll keep it all lifted. Um, and it's a long chain. So it's the most similar to our natural hyaluronic acid. The new density is only 2% modified from our natural hyaluronic acid. So it has a very long longevity because it's just it's similar to your own hyaluronic acid. And it moves with your face. So sometimes the older filler, you can almost see like, and a lot of this is injection technique, but it also matters what type of filler that you use. But you could see like the lumps in people's face and you're like, oh, I can literally see your filler. It's right there. Um, so that doesn't happen with the RHA collection because it's a long chain. It moves with it. It's very dynamic. So that is amazing. We love that. Makes my job easier. This way. Oh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. Hold on. Oh, sorry, guys. We're getting to your questions right now. Let's see this way. Where, okay, so this is Jennifer's. Oh, where is, is there typically bruising on the fine lines around the lips? Well, every time we use a needle, we can bruise. Of course, you can bruise. But I use a tiny little baby needle and an insulin syringe. So it's not super common. This isn't a really high bruising area. The high bruising area is like the temples, but I use a cannula and a bolus, as you saw in the video, to push it in. So I always try to minimize any bruising. Okay, so your next one. Can fillers be used in the neck? What a great question. Yes, I love the neck. So we, I do something called the liquid neck lift, where I actually mix the filler with a toxin and go into all the tiny little lines. Uh, the hort, We call it tech neck from us all looking down at our phones. So take your phone right now, look up so you prevent tech neck. But the horizontal lines in your neck, and that actually is a higher bruising area, just to go back to the, next que the last question, because it's so many tiny little injections but I'm telling you the results are amazing. And mine lasted years, like years, plural, plural. So that's a good question. Uh, another question, do you do nose fillers? So I do not typically do nose fillers in the bridge of the nose. I will do it in the tip of the nose. If it, there's like a little, if sometimes people have the, a hook down, and they just want to lift the tip tiny bit. That's fine. Yes, I will do that there. But I typically don't do it in the nose just because it's very dangerous. From here to here is an extremely dangerous area to inject. And I would never want to hurt a patient. So I do do threads in the nose, but not, not fillers. Um, does filler migrate? It can migrate. It um, If you put it in the right plane, it typically doesn't migrate. But it can. Um, and if it does, we would dissolve it. So that's a great question. Next question. I want some work done, but I'm really scared. What can I start off with? Well, I'll say that that is most of my patients are people who are very scared of aesthetic medicine, scared of fillers and Botox because they just see so many crazy faces that they're like, that's Botox. And I try to explain to them, you know, it's like a facelift. We don't notice the bad face, the good facelifts, right? Like a good facelift or good filler. You're like, oh, that person just looks really pretty and they're aging well, but you always notice the bad ones. So just because we always notice bad filler doesn't mean that all filler is bad, right? So I would start off with if it's, I, what can you start off with? Well, I'd have to see your face to tell you first what to start off with, but just do small areas at a time. It's like salting a soup. We can always add more later if we need to. Do what you're comfortable with. Um, do I use RHA for tear troughs? Like um, six to seven times a day. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> I do our RHA in the tear troughs. As I was saying before, little aliquots down onto the bone. It might be my most common procedure for filler. Uh, along with the temples. That is a super common procedure. Men and women, which is a huge compliment, men are comfortable. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but it is like we do have a high, pra a, a, my practice does have a high amount of men come in, which for under eye filler, and it looks amazing and super natural. It doesn't hurt at all. And um, and you, it just is, it lasts a really long time, especially the RHA collection will last such a long time. It's indicated for 15 months, but I've actually seen it last two and a half years on myself. So <laughs> next question. 
Do I ever use RHA for filler on the hands? Yes. What a great question. Yeah. So in the hands, we um, use a cannula. And as we get older, uh, you know, your hands and your neck, but obviously your face says your age, but people uh, tend to ignore their hands and their neck. And so, yeah, we do filler in the hands to bring back that youthful look. Okay. Next question. What if you don't like the results? Like if there's too much filler? Well, Thankfully, I don't, incur, I don't, that doesn't happen a lot in my practice, but I do about 50% of my practice is fixing other people's work. And so we do, we dissolve the filler. So there's something called hyaluronidase and we make it naturally. And so there's a synthetic version in a bottle and we inject it in, I put lidocaine in it so it doesn't hurt. And it just, it's like magic. It instantly dissolves. I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, like one very big transformation was Emily Simpson's face and People Magazine actually picked it up. So check out her before and after on my Instagram. You can see how much dissolving filler and then putting back the right way can take a face that looks overfilled and make her, like, just make the person look so natural and beautiful. Okay. Can this product be used to fix previous fillers that you aren't happy with? I have the shelf issue that you mentioned, the shelf on the side of the eye. So definitely. So if, if you had filler in the trough before, but they didn't carry it out to the side of the eye, which is a very unique technique to this practice to, to me. It's a technique that I do because it can be dangerous. The way that I do it is the safest way to do it. So when you inject onto the bone, there's no blood vessels on the bone. It makes it safe, much safer. Um, so yes, you can add, definitely you can add to fix the shelf. Um, I also want to check underneath the eye and make sure that it's not puffy and it's in the right plane. And that looks very natural too. Okay, next. You guys have such great questions. Um, oh, one of my patients just said, hello, Dr. Armstrong, loving my R RHA. See you next week. See you next week. That's awesome. Um, okay. I'm so excited about this collection and interested in this special questions. Is it previous, is it possible to dissolve previous filler? Yes. So if you have filler, previous filler, wherever it may be, we can dissolve it. And then we wait 72 hours afterwards to re-inject. So we just make two appointments, one for dissolving and then 72 hours later to reach inject and kind of plan on re-injecting because typically, typ I mean, 99% of the time we're going to have to re-inject in a different area to make it look so good. Okay. I'm a side sleeper. Oh, hold on. I'm a side sleeper. Do I have to worry about messing up my filler? So the day at the next, when you get filler, you don't want to push on it for a couple days because it can be moldable. You saw in that video how I was actually molding the filler into the temple. So you don't, if you had, especially if you had it on your cheek, you wouldn't want to be sleeping on your side and have any molding in the in a 48 hours after um, after getting filler. Is it going to completely mess it up? No, it's not going to. If there's like no possible way you can't sleep on your side, um, you're not going to mess it up. You're, you're going to be fine, but it is something to, to think about. And definitely you don't want to be pressing on, pressing on it yourself and adding more pressure to the face. Um, here's a question. Does dissolving filler hurt? Well, I add lidocaine, so you, you're numb. So no, it does not hurt. <laughs> it does not hurt here. Um, okay. Over time, if you keep injecting, will it become permanently natural in your skin? I don't really understand the question, but if you like, will it stimulate hyaluronic acid to be produced naturally? You do get a slight stimulation of um, your own hyaluronic acid when you inject. There's other fillers on the market that are just to stimulate collagen, but um, you will get a small amount of stimulation. Uh, here's one. I'm very nervous about getting filler. Could I bring my dog into the appointment to provide emotional support during the treatment? Maybe if it's small and a service dog, possibly. Okay, I know that I know who's asking this question, and we'll call you and, and assess. Um, let's see how much. Here's a great question: How much filler do you need under your eyes and in your temples? So that depends on you because everybody's different. Some people have a lot of hollowing. Um, some people have more minimal hollow, hollowing under their eyes and in their temples. Tip, I'm just going to give you a bro typical broad answer. Most people need one syringe here, one syringe here, one and one. So we go half, 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 half. 
but that's very broad. Maybe you just have very minor tear troughs or just a little bit of shelving, and then you could do one, one, half, half. So it really depends on you and your anatomy um, on how much you need, but that's just the average. Let's see, does, um, does filler dissolve quicker for those who work out more intensely and often? So I would have to, I just based, is there studies that show that? No, but based on my practice, just my clinical practice, what I've seen, yes, I think that um, the higher your metabolism, the more likely your filler will wear off faster. I haven't seen that so much with the RHA collection that I have in past fillers, but um, I have I have noticed that even though there's no clinical studies to back that. Okay. Can this be can this RHA collection be used to achieve the lift effect on the neck area? I hate my neck. I really hate my neck. So I use the filler in the neck on the horizontal lines. And I also can use the filler to lift, you know, your jowls here. I just something called a jowl lift, a liquid jowl lift with filler. So it can lift this area here, this jowl. But the actual neck, no, I typically use threads to lift the neck, um, which is very common and looks beautiful. Let's see. Next. Oh, this is nice. This is more like a comment, but um, I wanted to share that I had a really bad reaction to filler in my lips and I was hesitant to try it again. Dr. Jen suggested I do RHA in my lips and it's amazing. I had no reaction. And I'm so happy. I'm ready to try under my eyes. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that comment so much. Um, okay, next question. How long before it dissolves? Uh, well, before it breaks down and so how long does the filler last? So RHA is clinically indicated for 15 months. So when they did all the studies and studied the longevity of RHA, it was 15 months. In clinical practice, I can see that change a little bit. Typically areas around the mouth, like the lips, uh, go a little bit faster just because we're always using our mouth. We metabolize it very fast. But uh, areas like the temples and under the eyes. So I just touched mine up a couple weeks ago and I had previously done it March, 2020. So it lasted a, like two and a half years for me. And that was amazing. I see that a lot. So I think different areas are have different longevities, but the box tells us 15 months. Okay, what are your office hours? Next question, what are your office hours and do you take Saturday appointments? So typically um, we see patients from 10.30 to 6.30 and sometimes we haven't done Saturday appointments in a long time. But uh, if you work and you need to come in later, just call our office and we'll try to be extremely accommodating. I know what it's like to work, so I get it. Can RHA replace Botox in the forehead? So they work completely different. Botox is a neurotoxin, which is going to make it so your muscle can't contract. So that's going to help static and active wrinkles. So like I'm frowning, I can't, I can't frown because I can't actually activate that muscle. Um, RHA is a filler that we're going to use to augment, fill in fine lines, and volumize if we need to volumize. The times, so I'll just say, talking about Botox, talking about filler in the forehead, extremely dangerous to put filler right here. So this is called a watershed area, and we don't put filler here. Now, sometimes as we get older, our, our foreheads cave in a little bit, and we put little aliquots onto the bone on the upper forehead. That's safe, but I would tell you right now, don't, don't. Even if you don't come to me, no filler here because it can be too dangerous. Oh, that's nice. Someone said, why are you so pretty? Um, because I use RHA. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, how long does threading last in the neck? So threading, uh, we it's about two years, one to two years, uh, depending on how, like, depending on you and how much um, skin you have to lift, but it's very effective and super beautiful, and especially great because with this RHA collection and with threads, you don't have to undergo surgery. And that's amazing. Okay. Okay. So I just want to remind you guys that you're going to be getting a text to see if you want to be contacted. And I just want to remind everyone to, to press yes, so that we you can be contacted for a consultation. And I also want to remind you because I can hear the phones ringing to call in now um, for the November special, which is buy two, get one free, which is amazing. 
and it's going to be valid until Friday. So Friday is going to be the last day that you can book for the special and um, it's limited. So please, because uh, please, please take advantage of it now because it's an amazing deal. Okay. So thank you guys so much. Um, and just remember to book now because things are filling up like so fast. I can hear it in the background right now. Awesome. Oh, here's some more questions coming in. So, okay. So one person said, I had a severe reaction with filler five years ago. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. That's, that's very scary. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what the reaction was, but the, people can have reactions. When, whenever I inject, I always inject, you know, I'm going to do a full intake to, to see if you have any autoimmune disorders or anything else going on. And we also the type of filler RHA. It's like I love using that because there's very low reactions, um, and if there was a reaction, we can always dissolve too. So there are measures that we take. Um, if you had had if you've had a, a reaction years ago, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that you're okay. Sometimes I actually do like just a little uh, prick test, you know, just do a little tiny bit of filler like somewhere in the body to make sure that you don't react with the RHA if you have reacted in the past because we always want to be safe. Okay. Oh, this is so nice. Another patient said, Dr. Jen, so great meeting you and your staff last Wednesday. I'm loving my RHA and Javo results, and I can't wait to see you again. Well, thank you. Oh my gosh, you're so wonderful. Um, great. This is another, this is, these aren't really questions, but they're so kind. So I'm going to read this. You look fabulous. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I'd love to see you, I'd love to have you fill under my eyes since I trust you so much. Well, I appreciate that. And I would love to do that too. It's just so beautiful. People can like, just look so refreshed with just a little bit of under eye RHA filler. How much is the RHA? So, um, so right, so um, we price per syringe. Right now it's buy two, get one free, which is amazing. I can't tell you how many syringes you need because I have to evaluate your face first. But I do have to say with our special, let's say you only need two, you can um, have one on, in your account for the rest, uh, for the, the and it's gonna for a year. And we have free consultations right now. Usually we have a $150 booking fee, but right now we have free consultations for if you attend this event. So that's amazing. Oh, here's somebody who said, I've lost a lot of collagen. My whole face swelled up and I have, and I had to use. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't really understand that question, but I think what you're saying is that you've lost a lot of collagen and you need to fill that, you need to fill in where you lost the collagen. So that's very common over time. As we age, we do lose collagen and that's why, what, that's why we have filler, right? So we can get that youthful appearance back. Okay, so here's a question. I had um, lip filler a few years back, a few years back, and had hard beads in the upper lip for a week. And yeah, that's something. Would that happen with RHA? So there are certain fillers like the Vicross technology. If you have an autoimmune disease, I always say don't use the Vicross technology because you're more prone to nodules. Um, that does not happen with the RHA filler. So we would do a full. We just check your full health history and make sure that. Uh, you're good to go, but that's not something we have to worry about with this filler. So, I mean, it can happen, but not as frequently with this filler. Let's see. Um, someone said, are you saying not to fill the 11s? Mine are so deep. Yeah, yeah, I am saying that. So I don't think that the 11s are a safe place to put filler, but we can use a toxin and the laser and soften it over time that way. And it's much, much safer. Um, how many units per Botox per syringe, well, it's however many that you need. This question is asking about Botox and how many per syringe that um, that's however many you need. So that's based off your own individual needs. So there's a couple questions here that are very similar saying that they're afraid of filler and they're afraid to have a reaction. So it's very low with the RHA fillers, but we can always do a, te a little test in your skin and make sure you don't have a reaction before we put it in your face, which I would like to do because safety first, safety first. 
Oh my gosh. And I can see there's some more questions, but we're going to have to wrap it up really soon here. So if you just text yes on your phone that we would like to, and for, then we can contact you for a consultation. We can contact you to answer all the questions that you have. Um, oh, here's another question. Yes, call in now to book an appointment. The question is, should I call in now to book an appointment? Uh, yes, now is a good time to call in to book an appointment because right now is our November special, buy two RHA, get one free, which is limited. So we're gonna only have a limited amount of slots for that. And I can hear the phones ringing. So yes, now is a great time to call in. Um, here's another question. Happy to hear that you can bank the RHA to use later if needed. Yes, absolutely. So that is a great question. So let's say you come in and you do a consultation. I say, oh, you only need one syringe. You can bank those other two fillers that you get in the November special for the next year. So that's amazing. Um, awesome. So we have to go now. I'm so, thank you so much for joining us. And this was like, uh, I just, Oh, one more. I did not get a text on my phone, but I popped it up on my computer. Can I still? Yes, you can still call in for a consultation. Please call now. So the number is 949-706-2887. So that's 949-706-2887. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, so um, somebody asked, I have. A, I already have an appointment with you this week. Will the special Will she be? Will we be able to honor the special? Yes. So if you're on right now, if you're part of this with me, if you're on right now with me, yes, you, we can honor this the the special um, as long as you're booked and we need to um, have you booked before Friday at five. So calling in before Friday at five, not coming in. <laughs> so that's a great question. Thank you guys so much. You're so wonderful. Yeah, Dr. Jen, tell everyone that you're gonna pick a winner. Oh yeah, we're picking a winner right now. We're gonna do a giveaway. Forgot. That's, yeah. the, that's the most fun part, right? Do you want to announce it now? Do I pick it? You did a raffle. Did you do a raffle? Um, we put it into a system so it's anonymous. I'm not picking it, but Michelle's going to tell me what who who was picked. Okay. Who is it? Do we know? We are drawing. It's sorting. We are drawing right now. And we will call the winner because this is a private event. We will oh, call the winner. Oh, that's right. We can't say patients' names over the over the over the live. computer live. That's a HIPAA thing. But yes, we're going to call the winner actually within by tomorrow morning. Yep, tomorrow. tomorrow morning. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. You're amazing. Can't wait to see you. Live. Can't wait to see you. Bye.